kids, welcome to Sunday School Online. Well, today we're going to have a lot of fun together and I promise you that, okay? If you say singing and dancing, you are absolutely correct. So let's get right into it. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river. I'm gonna run, run, run To His love, love, love I'm gonna sing, sing, sing To God's Son I'm gonna shout, shout, shout The name of Jesus He is the one I trust When I'm alone When I'm afraid I know that He is with me every day He's by my side He hears me when I pray Jesus, I trust in Wow, that was an amazing time of singing and dancing as usual. I loved it and I know kids, you loved it too because we see the videos that you send back to us. The response is overwhelming. Make sure that you encourage yourself to also ask your friends, show them to them, worship and praise along with them and also add them in the videos and make more creative videos and send it across to us so that you can be featured on our New City Kids Page, all right so now without wasting further time let's get into our next segment do you know what that is did somebody say story time you are absolutely correct so let's get into our story time today there once lived a lady named Elizabeth Elizabeth was a descendant of Aaron and was the wife of Zechariah both of them were great in the eyes of God obeying all his commands 
But sadly, they didn't have any children, as Elizabeth was unable to give birth. They had tried to have children for many years and were now both very old. What did he say? But still, they never stopped praying for God to bless them with a child. Zechariah spent his days serving God as a priest in the temple, and it was his job to burn incense. When it was time for the incense to be burnt, lots of people would come and pray outside the temple. And it was on one of those same days that an angel of the Lord named Gabriel appeared to Zechariah. When Zechariah saw the angel, oh. he was incredibly frightened. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth is to give birth to a son, and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you, and he will bring many people to the Lord their God. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit before he is born, and will go before the Lord, preparing people for his arrival. But Zechariah struggled to believe these words. How can I be sure this is true? Elizabeth and I are both very old. The angel said to him, I stand in the presence of God and have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now, because you didn't believe me, you will not be able to speak until the day your son is born. Meanwhile, the people were still outside waiting for Zechariah and wondering why he was taking so long. Hurry up, Zechariah. When he came out, Zechariah couldn't speak and the people were shocked. <gasps> Zechariah went home and sure enough, Elizabeth became pregnant. Elizabeth was so full of joy. The Lord has done this for me, she said. He has shown me great love and taken my shame away. Months went by and the time came for their child to be born. And Zechariah and Elizabeth's neighbours and family all came to celebrate in their joy. When the boy was eight days old, it was time for him to be named. And all of their family said that the boy must be named Zechariah after his father. But Elizabeth said no, he must be called John. Their family were shocked by this, as there had never been a John in their family before, and it wasn't the usual thing to do. They asked Zechariah what he decided the boy should be named, and he motioned for a tablet to write on. To everyone's surprise, Zechariah wrote, his name is John. Suddenly, Zechariah could speak again, Yay! and he ran through the crowds, praising God. Welcome back and this week we saw the story of Zachariah and Elizabeth and this is the learning. Your prayers are always heard. Have faith. One more time. Your prayers are always heard. Have faith. And this week's memory verse is, For God has truly listened. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Psalm 66 verse 19. One more time, for God has truly listened. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Psalm 66 verse 19. Meet you all next week. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Teacher Agnes. Thank you for teaching us. You make sure that the kids learn every time in a better manner and they learn well. Okay. So now that we're done with the story time and that you learned it, make sure that you want to go ahead and put those things down and ponder upon those kids and make sure that you stick with the lessons that you get because that's definitely going to help you because it's definitely helped me. All right, so now let's get to our next segment. Did you guess that? If you guessed experiment time, you are absolutely correct. So let's get right into experiment time.
thank you. That was an amazing and creative craft that you taught us. And you make sure every week that you teach as well. And I know kids, you're getting creative by the week. Okay, so now it's th I think we've come to the end of today's Sunday School and I know that you had a lot of fun. But before we close it, what do we do? We do go ahead and pray, absolutely correct. So let's go ahead and join our hands together and bow our heads and pay attention to prayer. Hello children, shall we pray? Let's bow our head and close our eyes and pray. Repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for this day. Thank you for the lesson we learned today. Thank you for our teachers, our family, our friends and our church. Lord, thank you that you are our best friend and we are never alone. Lord, help us to love you, to love others and to love ourselves the way you want us to. Lord Jesus, in your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a nice week ahead, children. Bye. Well, kids, I think we had a lot of fun this Sunday. Make sure that you come back to our Sunday School online once again next Sunday. Until then, bye.